Hi everybody, it's Gillian from Gillian's Art Flow. Welcome back. So, I, I'm trying um, 12 by 12 canvas. I want to see if I can do um, something very similar to the dragon's eye that I did. Um, but just with a, a slight twist on it if um if the color scheme is right on this then i will i think i'll go with it on a 16 to 24 one so i want to try it on a 12 by 12 first so what i'm using is i have a cassart permanent rose then to that just to give it a little bit of a bling i've added Champagne Gold by Deco Art. This is, believe it or not, this is Deep Cobalt Violet with black in it. And the Deep Cobalt Violet is a Royal and Langnickel and the black is Cass Art. Um, and it's just sort of like a greyish colour. And then I've got Cass Art titanium white and I put some shimmering silver in so um, I think I might have put a little bit too much shimmering silver in my paints are actually quite thick um, this time and then I have the um, deep cobalt violet here um, as well and in this cup I have the same titanium white by Cass Art and a little bit of the deco art um, shimmering silver and this cup is a little bit thinner because I'm going to use it for my base so I'm going to layer the cup and I know in a 12 by 12 I need roughly one of these cups not quite up very not quite all the way so I'm going to be putting the, the shimmering white down so the first colour I want to put down is this lovely, let me just check that you can see in the cup, there you go, it is this lovely permanent rose. Now I don't want the permanent rose to be a big factor in it, if you know what I mean, so I'm probably going to miss it out every other one or something. So. And we've got the shimmery silvery one. And a little bit of the deep cobalt violet. This one I think is probably going to be, it's not as, um, then I'm going to miss the pink on this next round and go straight with the the mix of the cobalt, deep cobalt violet and the black and we've got a bit more shimmery silver, a little bit of the, no do you know I'm going to miss that out, yes now I'll go with the pink do you know, no I'm going to do another, I'm trying to think here, I'm going to do another of the deep cobalt violet and black and the white and the shimmering silver. It looks really nice in there. Now I'm going to go one more of the whole lot. So pink. You can see the shimmer of the gold in there. This grey, blacky, bluey, greyy <laughs> colour. The shimmery white silver. Well, I've got plenty of paint on here then. And finish it off with a little bit of the deep cobalt violet. Wow, that is beautiful. I'm really liking that. Um, I'm pleased, pleasantly surprised, but pleased. Uh, let me just move these out of the way over here. Um, I need that one. Oh, I need that. 
Right, I'm just going to move you up and back so you're um, out of the way. Bear with me a second. So I'm going to do a straight pull. So just put some of that on there just to give this a bit of a go. I'm going in. I'm, uh, I have the feeling that if I, I had this before, didn't I? If I use it this way, um, I believe that that comes in and these come around the side. If I use it that way, I get more of a stripe. So I'm doing this way again. I probably won't use it all. Wish me luck. I'm doing it. Oh my, that is just stunning. I'm even not bothered about the middle. Let me just move it back in here. Wow, yeah, that is really nice. I'm loving the colorway and the pink. There's not too much pink at all. Uh, I'm going round the edge with, do you know what? I am going. might go round the edge with this dark black um, violet-y just around the edge here because I want to try and have some of this I don't want to lose too much of the edge if you know what I mean so I'll put an extra ed edge on it I think that's how you do it there's quite a lot on there but never mind okay bit of an edge on and then I'm going to Put the silver on around um, with the, making sure I've got plenty on the corners that can actually come off the corners if it if it wants to come off the corner it can do. There we go. I'm really pleased so far, so good. It's just I thought I'd <laughs> put things away. I love this colourway. Really, really liking it. It's really cool. Check that you're still with me because of the problems I'm having. You're just about on the camera there. There we go. Right, I'm going to torch it once. There's, there is a lot of paint on there, so when I start to tilt it, there you go. I'll put you over there. Oops, sorry. Oh, that's maybe better actually. Are you still with me? You're not taking a sideways swipe again. Um, it may well be that when I start to tilt, there's quite a lot of paint come off to start with, but hopefully we'll be fine. Okay, we're looking good, peeps. We're looking good. Okay, let's let's just. Oh my, here! Wow, yeah, this is what I was hoping for. So let's move this and see what. Um... Oh, I don't want to lose it. Yes, absolutely. Back, 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 back. Wow.
quite interesting actually. I'm going to just cover and then stop. I want to come off down here if I can. I'll bring it back into the middle. I'm sorry I know that you can't really see what I'm at. I, I try so hard. It's so hard when I'm on my own doing it right. Um, this is really, really I'm not happy this bit here, so um, I'll turn it around and tilt it off. I, I, I'm, I'm, I want to stretch out this bit. This bit can go. So off we go. Wow. Table looks beautiful. Oh, stunning. You know what happens when I say stunning? I usually mess it up somewhere. So I'm going to be very careful with this one because that is exactly what I was looking for. I'm loving, absolutely really do like this colorway. I think that is amazing. Um, let's torch it again. Thing is sometimes when you torch it you your composition looks completely different because where you had a block of color you suddenly have a this color you know there's there's something else in there you see like here it was complete solid but as I'm torching it there's bits coming up through and it, it then makes it look different I can see some of that lacing. Um, I might take this corner off, I think. I take it off or will I bring it back in? I might bring it back this way actually. I don't think it <laughs> way to change your mind, Jill. Great. I just want to take so I think I like that. I think I am very pleased with that. The um, sterling silk, the shimmering silver did not take over. I was so worried that it would. I was really worried that it would. I'm just going to try and knock that off that end just to get that corner looking nice. Be honest. Come on, my pretty, off you come. There's not a lot of movement on the paint at all, which means that once again I kind of correct it. And I think honestly, I saved a lot of paint. There's a lot here, but I will scrape it up and it will be used when I do the bigger pour, 
and I will use this. Right. I'm not happy with the way this corner is not this cobalt violet, so it's not a cheap. I'm just going to make sure that it gets covered in cobalt. That's it. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Um, did it turn out the way? Not quite. The way um, the dragon's eye did? Not quite. Is it another dragon's eye? There will never be another dragon's eye. It's that simple. However, you know what? I'm looking at the dragon's eye. It's over there I'm looking at this looking at the dragon's eye going do you know what it's got the same kind of pattern ish to it I am getting more um, cells popping up those little cells I love this bit here this is very um, very good the center held a lot actually um, yeah, wow. Sorry, it's my neighbour's daughter. <laughs> there we go. Right, I will, as always, I'm going to pick up my scrapings and tidy up the table and then I'll bring you down. Um, I really... There's so many. I mean, the, the pink really has got a little bit of an iridescent, not the too much. The pink hasn't taken over. It's done what I hoped it would do. And it's, it's I mean, there's, it, there's quite a bit of pink in there. There's probably more than I would have liked, but I still like, I still like it. Um, I maybe could have got away with missing the last pink. That I the last round that I went with them but it's not I'm not sitting here going oh my god get rid of the pink um I could do and now I've said it it's a bit tempting to see if I can run off some of the pink but I'll end up with the this coming in behind and I don't really want to stretch this out too far uh, because I don't want to end up with just the cobalt violet and no pink I think the way it is at the moment it's got real interest coming from the, here up and it's popping all the time and I we've got that silvery the the white silver coming up through all the time on in here oh my goodness you can see the um I don't know, it's like a pattern, there's like a lace, almost a lacing coming up through. Really lovely in the middle there, really pretty. I'm going to clear the table and bring you down in. Try that again, video just cut out on me. So this is it. Um, it's not dry yet, obviously I've only just done it, but I'm just, I love this. The detail, this bit here, I keep seeing every time I look at it, I see new detail and think, wow. Um, wavy lines, there are some cells coming through. I'm loving that I'm getting these little white cells here. Oh, it's, it's just really lovely. And down here, in here, it's just, can you see this sort of underlying lacy bits there they're quite amazing and these black cells coming up through look wow oh i just i absolutely and here look at just that's the uh, the silvery um i'm sure it's the the lighter color is got to be the shimmering silver it must be 
and then you've got that dark look at that dark bit here right here look that's where the pink is mixed with the black but look at the depth that you get here it looks like you're going down wow I am so pleased and I'm so glad that I didn't tilt and stretch this bit out and lose some of this bit. Whoa, that went a funny colour. Lose some of this pink here. I'm really glad I didn't do it because I think if I'd done that, I would have been disappointed. I'm really pleased how it works out. I'll check in again once it's dry. Until then... Look after yourself and those around you. And don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up so I know that you're genuine and you enjoyed the video. Back soon. Laters. Bye. This is it all nice and dry and that cobalt violet is amazing. It's just oh just the way it, it stands out so well. But I hear you asking where's the pink? It's right in there. It's dried really dark, really deep, much darker obviously than when it went on but I think it's also mixed with the cobalt violet and, and the cobalt violet and black mix that we had and so you can't actually you've got to come at it at a certain angle look at that to see it it's quite 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 fascinating I spent hours standing here looking at it but look at this color here gosh it's so vibrant and also with this, the red, it comes out this way and it sort of tapers off as it comes out and then it goes to the grey up there and then we have this bit. I love it. This bit here, you can see these lines here, this bit here, it's like each bit, each cobalt violet line is surrounded by it's sort of grey. And also, you see the fish. <laughs> Amazing. I think he might be a little shrimp. <laughs> or a prawn. I love it. I love the colourway. Definitely going to do the colourway on a 16 by 24 And look, we've come back here. And the pink, dark, pink red thing has gone. I think it's a trick of the light, which for me that really makes the painting something something really special. So thank you for joining me once again. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun doing it. Give me a thumbs up if you like the painting and leave a comment below. Until next time. Look after yourself and those around you. Take care. Bye.